Okay, hello everyone. So this video is going to be about the presentation and lesson in class, I guess, that I gave right after my winter holidays. So basically, um, today I, I went back to my school, so I did this lesson today. And uh, it turned out pretty decent. The school that I um, taught these in, or this, this lesson in, it's a little bit lower level English academically. It's, it's definitely more of like a sports um, non-English school. <laughs> so uh, I had to kind of uh, change the lesson altogether, all, altogether to like uh, teach this specific class. But anyway, so um, this lesson starts by, um, or it starts with me explaining my winter holiday. And then the second half is the New Year resolution thing. So um, before I begin, I do want to say that I did only teach this in grade 7 or equivalent here is grade 1 in junior high school. So uh, that's kind of the level we're working with. Anyways, okay, so this is basically how I presented it to the class. So the first thing I did was I did my greeting. So all right, everyone, please stand up. Good morning. How are you? Perfect. I'm fine. Okay, please sit down. Now, what did you do for winter break? What did you do for the holiday? So I ask, did you go outside Kyoto? So maybe Osaka, Kobe, somewhere outside Kyoto. I had students raise their hands and say, yes, I went, or, and then they'd say the name of where they went. And then um, I also ask questions like, did you eat special food? And a lot of them were like, yes, we had the rice cake or the soba, which is like a New Year's thing. Some people had KFC for, for uh, Christmas dinner. Um, and then I forgot the other ones I asked, but just basic questions about the holidays. And then after that, I was like, okay, so let me show you what I did for winter holiday. And of course, <laughs> I don't know if any other ALTs get this, but whenever I say show you, they always like giggle because show you is also soy sauce. <laughs> and I say it all the time, so sometimes I'll just joke. I'll be like, okay, let's, uh, let's, I, I will show you this presentation, Kiko Man, or just random things like that. But, anyways, okay, so this is my presentation. So I have me in um, Elsa from Frozen Cosplay. I photoshopped a Santa hat over it and I put Merry Christmas 2015. And then, okay, so I start off by saying I went to Arashiyama in the bamboo forest. The bamboo was very beautiful. Um, I went to Kiyomizudera. Um, it's a very beautiful temple, but uh, part of it was under construction, so we weren't able to see all of it. I went to rural Kyoto, so just outside the city uh, bounds, boundaries or whatever. It was all like farmland and, and beautifulness and it was wonderful. Um, I went to a pet store and I found gophers. They were selling them for equivalent to like 350 bucks, but back home in Canada, these things are like everywhere. Um, we, my husband and I saw Star Wars and like the new Star Wars movie and we had caramel flavored popcorn. At this point, I asked the students, do you like caramel popcorn? Do you like? Raise your hand if you like caramel popcorn and they, they would respond. Um, I told them that I bought a, a kimono. Um, I went to the, the sushi where it goes around um, the belt. Uh, I told them that my favorite sushi was katsu chicken sushi and a lot of the students were like, what? That's, <laughs> that's weird. And I was like, yeah, but it's so good. Uh, and then I told them I had yakiniku for the first time. Um, and then I said, um, we, my husband and I went to Osaka Aquarium. So we went on Christmas day, Christmas day. And we saw many fish. I love fish, absolutely love fish. And then showed them the penguins, the whale shark. And a lot of these animals, I was asking for the names in Japanese. I was like, how do you say this in, in Nihongo? And then we kind of exchanged the, the names. So um, I say it in uh, English, Japanese, English, and then they say it in Japanese and English. It's good practice. And then here's me petting a shark. 
Um, we came across a scuba Santa. So there was a scuba diver dressed as Santa Claus, which is really cool. And we got a picture with that person. And then later we went to Universal Studios, USJ, yeah, Universal Studios Japan, in Osaka. And I showed them, like, there was a lot of rides and a lot of people. We saw the big giant Christmas tree. It was really beautiful. And we went to Harry Potter World. So I told them that we went with our friends. Um, this girl is Japanese and this guy is uh, Canadian. And um, she loves Canada. And together we went to USJ. And then Harry Potter World told them that I drank butterbeer. In Harry Potter world, butterbeer is amazing, by the way. If you ever get the opportunity to try butterbeer, you have to. It's so good. Okay, and then I showed them that we kissed Spider-Man. So Spider-Man, there's like a, a sculpture of him hanging upside down and then you can pose with it. Uh, and then I told them for New Year's, my husband and I watched a horror movie. We didn't really celebrate with friends. We stayed home and watched a horror movie and then we played video games and we had cake. This is New Year cake that we got from the convenience store. And I told them that I made poutine, Canadian poutine, um, using fries, a uh, different kind of cheese, and then gravy, which we made out of like soup stock. And then I told them that we went to our friend's house. Uh, we played with their kitty and then we played a bunch of Nintendo games. Um, and then I showed pictures of us at the party. So I've got the cat in the costume. We're playing with giant cards and then we're dancing with the Wii U dance game. And then the very last slide here I have is my, um, my husband cleaning out the fridge, putting uh, garbage into the garbage. And I basically said, so after near the end of my holiday, that's when I cleaned my entire apartment. Everything is nice and clean now. Um, and then... So this slide I didn't actually show because for some reason it didn't show up, uh, but basically it's my New Year's resolution. So these are just common ones that I wanted to show the students. So exercise more, be a better artist, talk to my friends more, and find time to relax. Uh, so anyways, that's the PowerPoint that I showed. And then immediately after I was like, okay, now we have questions, listening questions. Let's see who was listening. Very good. Um, so then I say, okay, number one, what new movie did I watch? What new movie did I see? And then a lot of students, like if they couldn't get it, I would hint, caramel popcorn. And they'd be like, oh, Star Wars. I'd be like, good. And then number two, what Japanese food did I eat? Now there's two of them. There's the yakimiku and the sushi. So if they guess that, then that's great. Now the way that they answer, there's a few ways you can do this. My one school, makes small groups and then each group gets a whiteboard and a marker and an eraser and then the group gets to talk about the answer they write the answer and at the same time all the groups reveal the answer and then they can score points that way or you can do it informally like what we did today where you just ask them to raise their hand and answer the question um, okay number three where did i drink butter beer where did i oh sorry the uh, grammar point for this class was uh, what, where, who, when, how, um, so those, uh, those words, and so I just made basically questions about the PowerPoint, so it was perfect. Um, and then number four is who did I go to USJ with, and the answer is friends. Next is um, when did I watch a horror movie, and New Year's. Number eight is when did I play card games? And this was a New Year's party. So there's a few questions I wrote down, but those are the ones that I felt were easy enough for this lower academic class. Um, so yeah, okay. And then immediately after that, I was like, okay, perfect, great. So in Canada during New Year's, everyone makes New Year's resolution. They write a goal for 2016. So I'd write on the board, 2016, my goal is. And um, that's basically, okay, I showed them, I showed them this and I said, okay, so my 2016 goal is, right, 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 Happy New Year. 
so what I oh yeah and I made this by using you know it's interesting they have different size paper here in Japan like this is the smaller size and what I did was I basically just measured it so that I could make um, I, I drew this and then copy it and then you just have to cut it uh, straight down the middle and then you've got a perfect size that you can get multiples of no problem um, but anyways okay so I put this on the board and I was lucky enough to get the help from a teacher where she wrote the translation in uh, Japanese. So I told the class that these are usual um, goals for people in Canada. So to be happy, to rest more, enjoy life, play sports, yada yada. And I got the students to repeat each square. So I said, repeat after me, be happy be happy um, and then I kind of acted be happy and then the students were like be happy <laughs> and then rest more and then I just kind of like acted like uh, relax rest more and then the students repeated so we did that for all of them and uh, if students had a hard time because the thing with this class is they don't really know these words per se but they were able to copy the letters and they were able to kind of understand it that way and I had asked the students, like, you just need to choose one goal. One goal is enough because um, I don't want to overwhelm them. And some students, like, they just rocked hard. They, they just wrote down, like, seven or eight goals. But most students did just pick one and then copy it. And um, what was really nice is I have here play sports better, but a lot of the students changed sports into specific sports. So play soccer better, play tennis better. That kind of thing which was really nice to see so anyways after the students repeated me on this dialogue or these words uh, we had this on the board and then we basically the my partner teacher and I handed these out to the the class and uh, we basically told students to get started they had to leave this last line here for their name so they wrote their name down here and then up here was like whatever your goal is for 2016 and we told them later, um, or after they wrote their name, we were like, yeah, if you want to color it, you can draw, you can be creative. And some students are actually really, really great. Um, now, an example of, uh, okay, there's one student in this class who's very, very interesting. They're very, um, hmm, how do I say this? They love talking about sex all the time it's sex this sex that they're always asking me do you like sex blah 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 like it's it's really inappropriate but um, this is something that I saw and I kind of like noted it in my mind for my future references but he basically wrote down um, a typical goal so I think it was uh, play sports better or something and then underneath he wrote sex and then he signed his name and then the teacher just like sneaked by and then scribbled out sex and then just like took his paper <laughs> so um it's like a uh, subtle control that way i don't know it um it was very interesting but uh every other student like they did really good they designed it really nice and it was great um anyways so afterwards if we had some time left we would basically ask the students, so who said, be happy? Who wrote, be happy, raise your hand? And so we basically saw in the class what was the most common goal for 2016. And in my one class, it was be happy. And in another class, it was enjoy life. And I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. So um, yeah, I, uh, I think it was a, a pretty, successful after winter holiday lesson for me <laughs> um, and I don't think I'm forgetting anything I'm pretty sure it's everything um, so yeah that's that's basically it now there is a whole other activity that you can do with New Year's goals but this is like really intense and your class needs to have a little bit higher level English Basically, it's um, tic-tac-toe, so you make a grid of three by three, and you write your goals, and then at the top, you get students to write one goal. So, uh, for example, uh, play sports better. 
And then what they do is they get up and they walk around and look for people who have specific goals. So you want to make a line. And um, so if a student came up to me, say my goal was exercise, I would sign my name under exercise. And uh, you can collect points and stuff, but this is kind of like a whole other lesson. We didn't do this, but I did show it to my teacher. So when we do end up doing this, I'm going to, I'll tell you guys about this one. It's really, really interesting. I saw it in a, a demonstration from another ALT. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that is uh, the lesson from today. And thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.